Hi friends, hope you are all doing fine. Today I'll start on one more video and the topic today is going to be how do you find referees for a postdoc position. Now you are going to see that in most cases if you apply for postdoc, any of the application forms for postdoctoral positions such as Fulbright, Humboldt, DAD, JSPS, SERB and there are a plethora of such names out there they all do require you to write a proposal they require you to find a host and they may also require you to give the name of two to three referees of your work and these are essentially technical referees for your research problem now the question is how do you get these two to three names and what are the possible people you can choose now of course one which immediately comes to your mind is your phd supervisor or guide now again this is certainly an important referee and it is generally presumed that this referee will be positive for you because he or she happened to be your phd supervisor now the second person could be another professor from your phd committee if you know this person well and this also is a typical name which most people give now a third possibility could be a teacher in whose class you have done well and this could be a course which is relevant to your research problem and in which you have got a good grade so both these things must be valid here so for example if you are pursuing your postdoc in structures and you got an A in solid mechanics then if the professor of this course writes that you were a very good student then that certainly comes across positively similarly if you are doing a very mathematically inclined postdoc and some math professor in the precise domain let's say partial differential equations talks uh, well about your course performance maybe some project you did in the course and so on then that also comes out very well so one of the things to keep in mind is that try to do a good performance in the course go beyond the call of duty maybe do some projects write some short term papers and so on so that the professors remember you well now beyond this i would say a very valuable person for your reference is an external examiner of your PhD. Now in many countries they typically have a person who is from a different university, sometime even a different country who reviews your PhD thesis. And so this person has an in-depth knowledge of the work you have done and a reference from such a person is always very beneficial. Now in some cases if you have submitted your paper to some journal, the editor of the journal is also a prospective reference. But remember these people are often very busy. But it may happen your paper was very well received, the comments you got were very positive and so you had a lot of back and forth discussion with this particular person. And at the end this person said yeah he's very satisfied with your paper and your paper has been published in the journal maybe this person may remember you you can write an email to him or her later saying that look here I'm applying for this postdoc position and uh, you recall you were part of the review process of this paper so again that is something which is very good sometimes that can be a very strong reference because these people are likely to be in good positions around the world now beside this uh, one thing to remember is that try to cultivate these references a long time before you actually apply for the postdoc position that is during your PhD. So whenever different professors come to your institute to give talks or seminars try to have some discussion with them so they remember you. You can go to them later for not only reference letters but also possible leads for postdoc or also if they may have a postdoc position or not. Of course, conferences are a good place to get to know some of the people in the field and if you have presented your paper in a conference and certain person was sitting right in the front row, this person could be a prospective referee. You can send an email to him or her later and say that, could you please be a referee? So that's some, something which is possible. Finally, if you have presented papers in a conference and there was a session chair, this session chair probably read out your bio and he or she did see your presentation, they were forced to see your presentation. So they would have uh, hopefully good view about your work. And if they have a good view about your work, then you could again approach them 
for a prospective reference. Lastly, I would say that ex-PhD students and postdocs in your own lab, if they are employed somewhere else, are also possibly good sources of references. So it's often the case that you are working in the lab as a junior PhD student and there was some senior student and he or she went off and probably is a faculty somewhere or is doing a postdoc somewhere or is in a national lab somewhere. So these people could also mention the interaction they had with you and the problems you were doing and they can also read up your recent work and they can write a good letter for you. So these are some of the things which you generally require in a typical postdoctoral situation. You may need two to three letters, but there are some situations where you may need up to five letters. And in those cases, some of the concepts I gave you today would be useful if you need five referees or if you have some problem with any one of the people in this particular list, then you can check out different people and maybe you can substitute for those people there because sometimes people do have problems with some of the people who are closest to them as far as research is concerned. So again, this was my take on how to get referees for a postdoc position. Some of these concepts are also probably valid for people who are applying for university jobs or for research jobs and so on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you soon in a new video. Thank you very much.